uh, good morning to everyone at Hyderabad. Just so, uh, can you have the slide, please? Uh, Ashish, why don't you tell uh, good the... Good morning, everyone. So, here we have a 50-year-old gentleman. He is a doctor from Iraq, and he has risk factors of hypertension, impaired glucose tolerance, HbA1c of 6.2. He is a heavy smoker and obese. He came to us with complaints of uh, angina for last two months, which was... Uh, Canadian classification to grade three. His ECG showed QS complexes in V1 to V3, with ECO revealing a regional wall motion abnormality in the LED territory, the ejection fraction being 40%. Can we have the runs, please? Uh, incidentally, uh, the gentleman uh, had an angiogram done in Iraq, which had showed triple vessel disease, was advised CABG. Uh, but uh, he declined, he wa wanted the percutaneous option, so he has come to India for treatment. Right. So that's the RCA. It's a diffusely diseased small caliber vessel, which we will be tackling later. That's the left system. We see a distal left main disease, OCL LAD, uh, proximal circumflex. And then we have a tight lesion in the mid LAD and a, a longish segment in the LAD. So we first wired the uh, LAD and then uh, pre-dilated the tight lesion with a 2.5 millimeter balloon. And then uh, we took an IWAS run for both the LAD right. and the circumflex. So we show you the LAD run. So the LAD is actually uh, diffusely diseased distally, uh, difficult to find a landing point for the stent. Uh, but we uh, identified an area just after a distal small septal, uh, which could be a possible uh, place where you could land the stent. And the sizes we got were uh, left main body is around 5 millimeters. Prox LED is around 4. And proximal circumflex is around 3.6, 3.5. Can I, uh, can we interfere in one so minute? Uh, our sure, sure. Uh, see, it is actually a Medina 111 uh, classification, prox, uh, distal LMCA, LAD, and circumflex. Sure. Is it true? Correct. So now you did an IVAS only to the yes. circumflex. Why you did not do an IVAS to the LAD to understand whether there is a calcium there, what is the size of we the have, vessel? Uh, we, uh, 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 we have, but you have, we have done the, the IVAS to LAD first and then to the circumflex. So what was the IVAS uh, MLA in this uh, minimum lumen area as well as the uh, vessel size of the LAD? See, uh, can we have the uh, L LAD? See, the, this, as I said, the distal LAD uh, is diffusely diseased. There's a plaque all the way down. Uh, difficult to find a landing spot for the stent, but we identified an area just after a small septal, which is relatively free of plaque, as you can see. And the size there of the vessel is around 2.3. The distal LED is 2.3. What is the proximal and, LED? Uh, proximal LED. Proximal LED is around 4.1. Show me the proximal LED. How much? How much? The, uh, proximal LED is around 3.94. Uh, uh, but it is little more you are actually taken. I think it can be... 3.5, okay, okay, 3.5, 3.6 millimeter will be there. And just, uh, it's the osteo, osteal part of the LMS, uh, LAD, how much is the size? Uh, osteal LAD is 4.1 with a plaque burden of around 69%. Oh. So you are actually, landing stone okay. is a problem here because this LAD looks so like very small, right? Yeah, yeah, the bristol LAD, so we have identified a place, if you see on the angiogram, show the uh, epicranial view. Correct. Uh, if you see uh, the septal arising distally, a small septal, just after that, uh, or the IVAS as well as angiographically, we are looking at an area where we could land the stent. Uh, I, uh, by angiographically, I'll tell you up to the diagonal, up to the diagonal there is disease, and just after the diagonal, there is a minimal disease, which is actually, I really don't know. You may be landing up a stent exactly 
up to the septal artery may be one size. From the septal to the diagonal or di just distal yes. to the diagonal will be another size. There are two stents to be used in a lady. If properly yeah. thinking, so 3.5 in the proximal lady, 2.5 to 2.75 yes. in the distal lady. And I don't know about the what is the size of the circumflex. Yes. What is the size of the circumflex? The cir cir circumflex is 3.5, 3.6, the proximal circumflex. Okay. So show the circumflex, please. So the your eyeball. your strategy in okay. this case is so actually what, oh. a dedicated bifurcation standing. And what is the bifurcation standing strategy here? You are planning for a DK crash, you are planning for we a mini a, crash or a tap. We are planning a tap. Okay, okay. So a tap a T with a minimal protrusion. Tap, tap is perfectly fine in that situation. So, uh, uh, so you're and planning uh, any debunking strategies too? Yeah. Uh, pardon? You're, you're planning on debiking strategies too, like cutting balloons or, or rota? No, no. We have t taken the IVAS runs and we have seen a little bit of calcium, nothing much. And uh, so we are not doing any debulking. We have done a pre dilatation to the tight lesion in LED. And we have stented the distal LED with a 2.5 38mm stent, Zion's expedition. Show the stent, please. But Sandhu, actually, so the, by the vessel looked so that like, was, uh, uh, Dr. Sandhu, actually, the vessel looked like you have to prepare the lesion well, especially in the proximal LED. In this case, a rotablator is not required. Yeah, proximal but, but we require a proc uh, cutting balloon to have a preparation of the vessel. I personally feel that cutting balloon will not cause that much dissection as the normal NC balloon. That is what is my perception. Whatever uh, is there, you are convenient I, and you are thinking I, you can I, do it. I mean, I would like to use a cutting balloon if my normal balloon is not giving a good result. Okay, okay, so okay. I, we have taken a okay, pre-dilatation, okay, okay, okay. and after the pre-dilatation, it was a very good. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Now, what is so the size of the stent you have of taken? Stent, uh, now, what is the size of the stent you have taken in the That's a 2.5. That's a 2.538 in the distal, and after we had uh, uh, deployed it there. 2.5 uh, into third. What is the size of the then length, we took length of the stent? 28. 38 millimeters. That is actually which uh, make of the stent? Uh, 38. Uh, Zion's Expedition. Zion's Expedition. Okay. So uh, after the uh, deployment of the distal stent, we found that distal to the stent there was some spasm. Uh, we were contemplating or doing another IVAS, but later on after giving vasodilators, the distal spasm has improved. And then we have implanted a 3.5, 23 millimeter Zion's expedition in the proximal LED. <coughs> is so small, that's so where we are. We give you the left vessel. And then uh, uh, what you call, we have uh, uh, deployed it at 18 atmospheres, the proximal stent, because as we said, that the vessel size is nearing 4 millimeters in the prox LED. So we have take, deployed the 3.5 stent at 18 atmospheres. And now we are deploying the left main stent, which is a 4 into 18 millimeter stent, Zion's Expedition. 4 into 28, right? What 18. Is 18. Uh, our previous stent has reached, our previous stent has reached almost the ostium of the LED. And we need uh, another uh, 8 to 10 millimeters in the left main to do the port. So I think I, I need another 4 5 millimeters into the LED. So we are taking a 4 into 18 millimeter stent. So you took a 2.5 into 28 Any, uh, in the comment? distal LED. No, no, Sandhu, can you explain? 2.5 into 28 stent distal LED. Yes. In the mid part, what another stent you used? What is no, the size sir. of the stent? No, sir. Uh, 2.5 into 38 millimeters in the distal okay. LED. Okay. Uh, 3.5 into 23 in the proximal LED. Okay. Then what is the next? Next. And a 418 now. Correct. Now you use the 2.5 into 38. No, no. Stand. Let me tell. 2.5 into 38. 3.5 into 23. Now you are planning to take a 4 into 18. Correct. Right, sir. Now, after that, you are planning for a tap into the circumflex so and make it. Okay. Right, sir. Absolutely. We are just, I think we'll come back a bit. We are too much into the LED. So, you are putting a stent from the left main to the LED 
uh, you are thinking that you may get a 8 millimeter into the LMCA to do a pot, right? Yeah, around 10. 10, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'll, I'll get around 10 in the left main. Okay. So I don't know whether it's 18 will do that. I don't know. Uh, I think we are too much into it. Uh, can we have a little bit of a ideal, boost, I think, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just see, we'll change it, otherwise we have a 23 millimeter Can also. Uh, we'll just have a boost and see. We have too much in the image. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you showing us 10 boost to understand yeah. what is the... Yeah. Um, uh, not yeah, we, we, I, I just uh, want to have a minimal overlap so that I can have an adequate length in the left main. Advantage of the actually science expedition is actually the marker is the point of the junction. Marker is up to the marker that is a stent, so there is no issues there. Yeah. Ten boost. Yeah, I think we are good at this position. Uh, we just have a short. Yeah, we are yeah, good. We are huh? good. We are good. Just I think you'll get uh, uh, ten to uh, eleven millimeters in the LMCA minimum. Ten, eleven, twelve. I yes, I think we are. Uh, I think I think this position is good. How many people would have uh, uh, missed yeah, this ahead. ostium? Uh, and no, I, I will be uh, doing a standing exactly up to the ostium. I don't know whether uh, this. Uh, I think the left little longer up to the ostium the would have been better. There is some block also there. So I think. Uh, uh, no, we have uh, done the. Uh, uh, what you call I was the left main body uh, uh, and uh, the, the yeah. I think uh, you have seen the LMC yeah. uh, just give me I was in the LMC was totally free of disease yeah the uh, LMC uh, body onwards yes, sir. I don't the uh, uh, can you show the LMC uh, the body uh, this image I was image <coughs> on screen please yeah, you can see that there is, there's no disease in the uh, left main uh, beyond the mid part of the body. Are so you, okay? you are you are you putting a stent into the LMC yeah. only for uh -huh. doing a pot, right? Yeah. No, there's a distal yeah. left main, uh, uh, sixty-seven percent plaque. So there is actually osteoproximal part of the LMC which is three four millimeters. There is no disease. That is what. That is why you are actually avoiding a stent there. There's a comment from yeah. the floor. Absolutely. Please identify yourself. Ramesh. No? Uh, can you just give a mic to him? Okay. Yes, I think. Uh, it's uh, mine, yeah. Boost, <coughs> yeah, I think you're good. Uh, just give me a little bit of a delay. Uh, we have got uh, 8 to 10 in the left mid. Huh? It's an 18 stand. Huh? Half is nine, right? Go deploy. Huh? Yeah. Go. Move, move, move. move uh, your question is actually: uh, Can you just move ask it. the question? Can I say? Yes, oh, there is a where is a wire? The wire okay. is not Go. seen. No, no, it's a valid question. Actually, there is. Uh, can you, uh, Sandhu? There is no wire in the circumflex. Fourteen, sixteen. 16, sir. Yeah, I normally don't put uh, wires. Uh, 18 uh, and down, sir. 18? 18. Okay, down. Down, sir. Have you missed this thing? No, no, no. Huh? No. Overlap, overlap, overlap. Huh? 100% overlap. So, uh, yeah, somebody was asking about the wire in the uh, circumflex. I, I usually don't put the wire in the circumflex. And because when you're doing the left main, it's, it's usually not an issue to rewire. I don't uh, uh, Zandu, I, I think there is no problem in having a wire there. And number one, I was actually having some confusion. You plan for a tap. So I don't know why the wire is not there. Yeah. What was the rationale for removing the wire? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it's, a, it's just a personal thing. I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't put the wires in the circumflex because I usually, unless it's a severe osteal uh, disease of the circumflex, very tight, uh, you know, Otherwise, it's usually not an issue to wire it again. As such, you have to, even if you keep a wire, you have to wire the branch again. I know people say that uh, you have, uh, it's easier to wire, it's a marker. But I, I agree, sometimes in a diagonal or an OM, you can keep the wire, which is very tight. And uh, 
but usually in a circumflex, I don't keep the wire. But it may also help you, you to uh, promote yeah, the, give me the, cord cord the cord 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 cordal properly, please. right? Cordal, please. Cordal. Cordal, please. Okay. Give me the second wire, please. So we, as you see, the circumflex is flowing perfectly fine, and we can just wire it. And then, so uh, can you show the circumflex I was measurement in the meantime while I'm wiring? I think for the audience, I think there is no harm in keeping a wire there, and that will be saving you a lot of time. And actually absolutely. No, no. Uh, no, no, basically for uh, there experienced is no operators harm. I may, agree. Re may I not agree. require a wire because they can cross it in any, any time. Yeah, but yeah, sometimes there you is may no lose harm the ostium, people. even if yeah. you feel that or you don't lose the ostium, yeah. but losing an ostium in a circumflex and that's yeah. a major Yeah, so risk. I mean it's actually uh, a, on a case-to-case -case basis. It can be much easier with the wire in uh, place. Yeah, yeah if, if recrossing yeah, of the if you have a with very the wire, severe ostial disease. Guide, guideline, which is very, very good. Yes, I, I agree. I agree. So it's just a personal thing. I mean, I, I, if somebody wants to keep the wires, and it's always a safer bet. Yeah. We have an issue with a small early OM. It's a that's a. I there. think, uh, I, uh, Sandhu, I have one more doubt. Why you did not do a pre-dilatation of the circumflex ostium yeah. before doing all these uh, maneuvers in LMC A to LAD stent? Uh, because there's not significant disease there. There is a significant disease, no doubt about it. Yeah, give me a talk of Even angiographically significant disease. Yeah. So when you have a significant disease, a so preparation of the ostial lesions, both circumflex no, and LAD, I So, uh, I mean, we had seen that there is uh, not much of an issue there uh, of the ostium of the third. That's why uh, no pre-dilatation was done. So, so now we are in the circumflex. <coughs> and uh, yeah. just, just show me, uh, I think in a small branch. Just show me. I think uh, a wire passing to the through this uh, strut a good operator can do all the time, but actually I'm telling you, by principle, better to have a pre-dilatation of the circumflex ostium. Number one, you should have a wire before uh, when you put a stent into the NMC. That is yeah. actually needed. Yeah, give me a small uh, balloon. So I, I agree, I mean, uh, to be on the safer side. Uh, and moreover, one actually, when you have a preparation the of the circumflex lesion, Sandhu, when you have a preparation of the lesion before uh, putting the stent, then you are now, actually, you may be having a calcium plaque or calcium spur into the osteal part of the circumflex. Uh, we, uh, then, uh, 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 after putting a uh, wire no, through the stent, we had done down, the IVAS. There was no calcium. Uh, no, no, we had done the IVAS. There was no significant calcium at the circumflex osteum. And uh, uh, if there is not much of a disease, I would rather not pre-dilate and do the everything after I have finally wired. So, if you. Uh, if you had a uh, calcium so there in the osteal part of the yeah, circumflex, yeah, yeah. you would have done a preparation of the lesion, right? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Are we okay? Two yes, point yes open point. the studs a bit. Uh, yeah. yeah, go. Going up, sir. Now yes, you took a 2.5 millimeter balloon. What size of balloon this you have taken? Balloon? 2.0. Huh? 2.0. Yeah, this is a 2 millimeter balloon. Yeah. 2.12. And uh, give me a 2.5 for the pre dilatation of the lesion lesion. Or we can do this also. Right. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice. Yeah. Go. Go. I'm going at high pressure, sir. Yeah. Fourteen and sixteen. Fourteen, sixteen. Yeah. Done. So we just pre-dilating the proximal circumflex lesion. And. Uh. This is a two millimeter balloon. We'll just see whether we need another bigger balloon to do uh, it. Dr. Sandhu, when you prepare the uh, lesion here in circumflex before the, uh, during the tap standing, we will go to the other lab and come back in 10 minutes. So by that time, you should tell what other things happened during uh, this standing. Sure, sure, sure. We had left you uh, 
soon after deploying the left main stent. And <coughs> I had then wired the circumflex, then uh, given a pre-dilatation with a, uh, uh, opened the struts of the left main stent with a two millimeter balloon, and then a pre-dilatation. But then I, the size of the vessel of uh, the circumflex is uh, three plus, so we took another balloon, 2.5, and did another uh, inflation uh, to prepare the lesion. And then uh, we uh, took the stent, uh, it's a 328 millimeter stent into the circumflex, and a 3.5 balloon in the left main to LAD. And we did the tap procedure. Then after the tap, we did a kissing balloon. And then we saw that the ostium of the circumflex is a bit under expanded. So we took a four millimeter balloon there and uh, did another kissing at high inflation at 20 atmospheres. And then that, that's the result now. It's looking much better, the circumflex ostium. And now we are going to do a pot with a 510 balloon in the left main. So this is on the circumflex wire or on the LED wire? LED. LED wire. This is the LED huh? wire. Okay. Yeah. So any comments on that? Basically, now uh, there is a strategy coming up in a tapped uh, standing. People uh, avoid a, a pot. Basically, the pot will uh, damage the, the because it is. A yes, you can uh, avoid a pot if you do a kissing balloon uh, uh, yeah. well into the proximal area. Yeah, yeah. Right. And plus, I think it's a, a good strategy not to do the pot if your protrusion has been a bit too Correct. much inside the left main. Correct. Will you do an IVS to understand what is the uh, yeah. final lumen area and all? Yes, uh, 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 yes, yes. After the uh, 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 pot, we will do yeah, the IVAS. Okay. <coughs> we change it. We put it on the. So that's our five ten millimeter balloon for the pot. Yeah, I think you're good. Huh? Yeah. Ten boost, you want to check? Yeah, you just give us ten boost, please. Okay. It's not come properly. Just Show a little that, bit. Yeah. Okay. We're just doing a ten boost to check the position of the balloon. Perfect. I think we are absolutely fine. Yes, go ahead. Going, sir. I'm at 14. 14, 15, 16. 16. Down. Uh, what size of the balloon Sandhu used? 4.5. Uh, we used 5 into 10, 5, 10 millimeters. 5 into 10 millimeters. Very good, very good. So we'll just do an IVAS, please get the IVAS ready. We'll just do an IVAS run. You have three minutes to go and you show the IVAS and then we have to go to the lectures. Please show the IVAS fast. Okay, uh, just give me the IVAS run, please, fast. LED. LED, sir. This is just the LED. LED. This is yeah. LED. Huh? Wipe it, sir. Please. This is this is LED, no? Yeah, this is LED. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. I was ready. Ready, sir. Okay. Just we just take a, a run from the prox LED into the left main. Only. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Hold it. Holding, sir. The wire. Oh. We're just taking in the IVAS and we just do a short run from the prox LED into the left main. Can you get it up, please? Yeah, sure. So I think that's good enough. Let's start and we go live on the IVAS screen, please. Yeah, yeah, please. Live on the IVAS? Please. Ready? Huh? Yes. 
So, so we are in the props LED stent. As you can see, the stent is well expanded. There is. Now we are coming to the proximal LED. So that's the four millimeter stent here, which is showing perfectly. It's expanded well. And now we are about to come into the left main. There we are coming in. So we can see the austere coverage is good. And here we see the left main stent after we have done the pot. It's well expanded in the left main. There is no malapposition or under expansion here. And once we are where we have finished, there is hardly any, uh, there is no plaque or disease in the left main where we are finished also. Want to do okay, second? good. Good. Finish. You want to do a second flake? I think now what is the strategy, okay. Sandhu? You will be taking another so balloon to inflate? No, I think we are uh, done. Uh, uh, the results of the IOS are good. I think we have uh, after the port, the left main is. Little uh, under expansion uh, in the osteal LED. Oste yes, I agree a little bit in the osteal LED is there. I think we uh, will just do with a four millimeter balloon at high pressure in the osteal LED, a uh, kissing with the circumflex, good strategy, yeah. the, like we did for the circumflex yeah. osteum, the yeah. other way around. So okay. that's, I think we are just going to do the o osteal pro proximal LED uh, post dilatation. But otherwise looks very nice. Congratulations. Okay, Sandhu, congratulations from our side and we are Thank actually you. leaving you. Uh, you just finish your work and excellent work and we are giving, uh, please give a clap to Dr. Sandhu and the team. Thank you, Sandhu. Th th thank you. Thank all, you. Uh, all of you have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you.